I didn't want to hit record until I knew this was fine. Um, but yeah, they're having issues with their authentication servers. Uh, something is going on with Call of Duty. They have like a a beta going on, and it's uh, basically messed their login servers up, which is affecting all games. I think once you're logged in, it's fine. But during that entire stream intro, I was trying to log in, and it wasn't it wasn't logging in. So I was worried that I might have to change plans, but it's all good. Modern Warfare 2 beta? I don't know. I don't keep up with that. I just read the tweet and people complaining about Call of Duty and a beta. Like, that was the bulk of the complaints. People complained that they spent ages downloading a beta and now they can't access it. <laughs> so, I don't know. Um, there is music in Discord. I am trialing something out, which I'm not sure if it works properly, but pretty much the idea is I am sharing my my, uh, what do you call it? Player window. So then you can see the artwork slash track that's playing. I'm just not sure if the sound is doubling up, but anyway, if people join that at the, and they complain, then I'll address it, but for now I'm going to assume it's working. Okay, so... I, I made a consideration about this. So here's the thing, I'm up to a pretty crucial point. I have two choices. I can either press forward, or I can try and grind out what I was looking for. I also remembered an alternative I can do, which I'm kind of sad that I didn't, to be honest. <laughs> Remember it. Um, so, the alternative is there is another rune word that I can make because I found the rune for it. It just didn't click because at this point, the odds of finding it aren't that high, but I do have it. So, how about I spend the first few minutes of the stream... Oh shit. Yep, no, this is problematic. My controls have been un unbound. Hold up. The first few minutes of the stream, just uh, seeing if I can get the base. Just making sure everything's okay. So that's cool. All my abilities got unbound. Which I'd assume loot to cube. Yep. That's also part of it. And then we want slow projectiles and triangle. Does pressing onwards decrease my survivability without grinding said item? Um, if I get to the next difficulty, you get you take a hit in resistances when you go to the ability area, I guess. It's just... It's not that it decreases survivability, it's that I'm worried that I might not survive it. That's the thing. It is one of the toughest areas in the game. I'm sure I'll be fine, it's just... I might be overthinking it. There, are, there is an alternate to grinding. Like, I technically have what I need. Um, it's just... I would have to sacrifice a rune. That I don't really want to sacrifice yet. But it would mean progression. We'll see. Um, I watched the Sony State of Play thing. Um, it's on YouTube if anyone's interested, but I gotta say, I was more, uh, I was more excited about the announcements Sony made than Nintendo. Nintendo's one was basically farming sim and Japanese RPGs for more than half of it, which, um, there's memes going around. It's pretty funny. Also, that Pikmin game they showed, I didn't realize this, but... That game's already out, like, it's been out for almost a year. 
So, they did a two minute demo with Miyamoto of that mobile game that's already out. Which I guess means it's not doing well, and they're just reminding people, hey, this exists. That would be the only reason they would be bringing that up again. It's, it's been out for a year. So, that made Miyamoto's appearance a bit more, uh, abrupt. Probably because no one is playing it. Well, that- see, this is what I said yesterday. I was like, the people that are likely to play this are already playing Pokemon Go. They're not gonna play two of those kind of games. They're gonna play one or the other, and given a choice between Pikmin, which is already sort of niche, and Pokemon, Pokemon's gonna win. So, it's just one of those things where I don't think there's enough room for two of those kind of games, you know? It made no sense. No one cares about mobile games unless it's something like Slice and Dice. Dude, on the topic of that, uh, the game's got an, an update. And... Pretty nice thing, the, uh, the dev of the game popped into Discord to say thanks for playing the game, so that was pretty nice. So I'll probably check out the update at some point. Is it a Pokemon Go style? Uh, the Pikmin game, I mean, it's made by the same company, Niantic, so it, it's similar. It's not the same gameplay loop, but same concept. Lionhelm? Oh, right. And yeah, the, uh, the dev of Slice and Dice popped in just to say thanks, so... I'll probably check it out. The update. Showed a, like a, a small preview of the stuff in it before it came out, so that was neat. That's it's a little rite of passage for me in terms of streaming, like having dev appear. Yeah, it was pretty nice, so. Uh, let's just go back. Greetings. Not in town. Not r mm, uh, that's I mean I should keep it, but it's not ideal, I don't think. Okay, I have a bunch of small charms that do nothing, so let's get rid of them. Yeah, I mean, that was nice, so... Now this is the question, is this gonna... Do yeah, no, something's wrong. It just... it dropped me to... There's something definitely wrong. <laughs> it usually remembers the character you were playing, I wasn't even playing that character. There's issues with their servers, but I guess as long as I can play, it's fine. At least I didn't unbind my shit. Um, but the state of play thing... ...was pretty funny. <laughs> I- I got blindsided by one of the announcements, it was- it was amusing. There were more games than that that I was like, ooh, yeah, I might check this out. 
or like genuine excitement for it. So, and it was only 20 minutes long. But the highlight was, so, a trailer comes up and they're saying it's a game built from the ground up um, that hasn't been released outside of Japan and it's being built for the PS5. I'm like, ooh, what, what is this? And it's a Sega game. I'm like, I'm okay. I, I honestly had no idea what it could be. So the trailer starts playing and it's set in um, ancient Japan. Well, not ancient, feudal, whatever it is, you know, samurai stuff, right? a dark room and there's a dead body on the floor and you know, I didn't say anything but I'm like huh that's a that that face is, is that's so funny uh, it's a similar face because I, I finished Yakuza 4 yesterday right so I just I, I just immediately thought oh that's a that reminds me of like a character we fought in Yakuza 4 so whatever didn't say anything I just thought that myself and then one of the characters starts talking and I'm like, huh, there's a pretty strong re resemblance to Yakuza 4. I, I might just be imagining it, but I'm, and maybe it's because I just finished Yakuza 4 yesterday. And as I say that sentence, the main character comes on screen and he looks like Kiryu. I'm like, what the fuck? This dude looks like Kiryu. And then the logo for the studio that makes Yakuza comes up and it's a... It's a spin-off Yakuza game that's set in ancient Japan, and I, I don't know if it's Kiryu's ancestor, but it's a samurai Yakuza game. It becomes obvious when all the other characters start showing up, and it's like, oh, okay. But I was duped into thinking it was something else. So instead of fist fights, it's uh, samurai battles, which... Sounds interesting. And I imagine it's going to have the same absurd uh, side quests and whatnot, so... Yeah, I mean, that's definitely something that I was uh, excited for. So that's just one more Yakuza game to play. Aside from that, I mean, there were a few uh, action RPG games that were shown off that looked alright. The God of War, uh, yeah, they showed more of God of War, which looked good. Some PSVR stuff, like a Star Wars game. I'm interested in the PSVR, too. It's just how much uh, it's going to cost. And how much room it's going to take compared to its predecessor. There were no farming simulator games announced. But yeah, um... The response to Nintendo's Direct was like, uh... Just full of jokes. I'll do this for like 15-ish minutes. Maybe until I level up a couple times. Um, but I do have a plan B if this doesn't work out. Okay, so if I find one more, then I can, uh, I can do it. Not here. I'm gonna cry if it gives me one socket, but... Okay, no, now no, it seems fine. Weird. It also doesn't seem laggy at all today, so that's good. Just authentication is now the problem.
trying to think what else they showed off. Um, nothing's really coming to mind. They did show this game that has very strong Ghost of Tsushima vibes. Um, in terms of the art direction. But that's, uh, it's in 2024, so it's like ages away. Anyway, that's, uh, that's a little update since yesterday's stream, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit spent from today, so I'm just gonna kick back and chill. Did not want to start anything new. I don't know if I'll do this all night, but for a while. This map did not bring me much luck. Oh, no. Ghost armor, okay. No sockets, but I could maybe use it as a base, we'll see. such a simple thing, just <laughs> finding these treasure chests and opening them. Wait a minute, there's a campfire there, did I not go into it? Oh no, it's not. It just looks like it. I know this is a little, uh, boring, but it's important. The alternative is death. But see, there's not all, like, if I'm gonna use that, I may as well de-socket this. I think if I'm gonna go for sockets, it would have to be applied to this one. Yeah, this one. Or... Anyway. What do you need? Not in town. I wonder if there's an elite in there. Oh my god, that rubber banding. Yep, there's an elite in there. I'm wary of walking into these buildings. Another ghost armor? I'll pick it up to sell it. I'm also killing stuff to get XP. I don't think I'm at a point where I can comfortably just run past the stuff and ignore it. Sorry. 
just a shield. On the uh, notes of uh, like the PS3, I'm still searching. I may have a solution to it, but we'll see how it pans out. I may have found one on the cheap, assuming that uh, it hasn't been sold yet. I might be able to go get one on the cheap. <laughs> Just to play a 10-year-old Diablo game, it's fine. But I think it would be an interesting experience, like, I I think it's worth. Probably not a whole lot of people would want to do it. It's more like a morbid curiosity more than anything else. Plus, if, if I do feel inclined to, uh, do any other retro games, then hey, it's there. Oh, whoops. Sure, that's worth money. I think these things are scared of me now. When they when you hit a particular level, they stop attacking you. Not these things, these these always do. Maybe it's not level, maybe it's if you clear Karast. I don't know. They're not aggressive anymore, they're not attacking me. These ones will, though. Hey, Gammy, how's it going? I mean, something will give. I'll either get the gem to craft, or I'll just de-suck it. Or the armor itself. Good. How am I? I'm doing alright. Just wrapped up work, and now I'm just gonna kick back. Had a pretty lengthy day. Just talking about some of the uh, stuff on the Sony state of play that I saw. I am overburdened. Uh. There we go. 
Just boots. Okay. Well, unless there's another campfire we're done here. I'm doing some grinding. <laughs> Just until I either get what I need to craft the armor that I want, or yes. I give up and I, like, uh, make a, what do you call it, you, a trade-off. I mean, it, it seems likely that I'm going to have to just do the trade-off. Oh, there's the elite. Man, <laughs> I haven't found more gems. Nope, go away. Six versus 31. That might be worth upgrading to so I have more armor. These are the things that I am I'm trying to address. Like making sure my gear is at the correct uh, level. I don't think I'll get another campfire. Oh, there's another H, though. I call it an H, but I'm not sure it's an H. <laughs> uh, it looks like an H to me. I need more of these for crafting. Okay. Not here. Tammany. Oh, I can't actually make it. I would have to sacrifice a few Amn runes to make it. 
Which, mm, I guess I'll hang on to the base. I don't actually have the runes to make it, but I'll keep it. Okay. Not in town. The order sword is good that they have it for controller, but I just wish it was a little more smart. Like, it would be nice if there was an option <laughs> that was just make room. Make room for this item. We know there's a, the room is there. Try to make room. Fuck's sake. Oh, it's okay, I got rid of the curse. It got me before it died. I wish these chests had more gems. So what I'm doing here is, like, gonna be something that I'll have to make a reality later. Like, this is... a tactic people do to, uh... get runes later. Not that I'll subject people to this, right? Like... I think my goal with this is to try and finish the story, and then after that I'm just gonna... play this offline. As I imagine, several hours of this is not the most entertaining thing. Ah, damn, it's a diamond. I love how they're being pacifists and I'm still murdering them.
Alright, I'll do a couple of laps. And if it doesn't work out for me, I'll just... <laughs> uh, I'll just uh, have to do the salve thing. Not here. I got no choice. Hello. Not in town. Okay, uh, let's do... Yeah, I mean, I have technically have enough gems to get what I want. It's just I don't want to sacrifice those low-end gems, because you do need them. And I don't want to be running through the normal difficulty just to get a bunch of them. could be problematic. I've nearly got strength to the level where it needs to be. I don't know if this overrides the curse. <laughs> Amulet, okay, and jaw. Crafting combo right there. Okay. Greetings. Not here. I put these two here. Alright, this is how I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna get as far as I can, because it's not quite yet that I have to completely stress. It's still a while away. 
my res coal resistance is a bit low, but fire is the concern here. I'm gonna take my time here. Not rush anything. trying to kick it. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully I'll find the gem or armor. Something's gotta give. Amethyst, okay. Almost time to craft another amulet. So that is the way up. I just want to make sure that in case I need to step back, that this is clear and we're not backing into anything annoying. back I lost I lost the follower Stay a while. I need her for mana it's not that I care if she does damage or not Did 
This is annoying. Oh shit. They're following. I hate how slowly I had to take this, but... <laughs> the alternative is death, so... I want a tanky, tanky frontline to summon. Two of them again, really? Seventy two armor. Yeah, Berserker's not interested. Okay, that's the next area, which is going to be scary. <laughs> Those lightning dudes are going to be... going to be everywhere. But I can't go on until... Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Run back. There's a large crowd crowd of these things. Isn't Iswal usually here? I have to find them before I move on.
Nope. Too large a crowd, too much fire. Okay. Back we go. That is a perfectly valid reason to come back. And the roll. Oh. Fuck! <laughs> That's a good lightning resist. That is a good uh, amulet, actually. 20 lightning resist. Excluding the assassin skill. So now I've gotten plus one to every single character except my own one. That's actually a big deal. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That brings me closer to, like, complete, uh, immunity. Well, not complete, but as high as it can be. It was a good craft, I think. I assume you're talking about, uh, dead cells. I barely remember dead cell enemies, it's... Oh, slice and dice. Alright, I don't know why I thought dead cells. Um... The alpha wolves can be... Pretty annoying. Anything that summons, you need to deal with the thing that summons immediately. Oh shit, jeez, that hurt. That's pretty indicative of how this is gonna go. Goodbye, Iswal. Yeah, I mean that game sometimes gets combos where you barely survive in terms of enemy spawns. Good day. Okay, uh 
I'm almost at the point where this will start leveling up the uh, Valkyrie. Hail to you, champion. Not in town. Hello. Not here. This is the part. From this point forward, this is where I'm scared. do my best to not fuck this up. Did I go in for that? Yeah, no, but I figured, like, I'll I'll get as far as I can here, and then I'll make a decision to, uh, like, just take away the armor I have in and, uh, craft what I need to craft. It's just what happens at the end of this, uh, this, what do you call it, act that I'm, I'm concerned about. It's not so much the start of it, it's the end. So there's still a bit of wiggle room. On the topic of Diablo 3, I said I was something about people criticizing the art style. I was up with that. People thought it was too bright compared to this one. That it almost looked cartoonish. Well, and not compared to this, compared to this. Like, Diablo 2 is just as... The colors are more muted and things are visually darker. It's not that it doesn't have vibrance. It's just that, um... The colors are more muted. And there's darker lighting in general. I know that's, that's, uh... You, how can you have darker lighting? But I meant, like, darker settings. That's what I mean. That was a, a huge complaint. And people were making fun of it, and, uh... It went to the point where... Blizzard made a t-shirt with, like, rainbows and unicorns that said Diablo 3. And then they made that area, Whimsydale or whatever. Just a kind of meme about the art style. As long as I can equip a monarch the moment I get to hell, I'll be happy. Which, that is gonna happen. Okay, we must be close if these pits are appearing. I don't mind taking this part slow. I mean, it'll let me get levels, so... Why not? <laughs> Pfft. 
plague javelins are pretty much throw and run. Wait, same reason you criticize Destiny 2 against 1, you like Destiny 1's darker, earthier palette against Destiny's too bright and vibrant area. Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a personal taste thing. Um, but that being said, if you look at Diablo 3 now, it's kind of, it feels like a mobile game, the graphics. I guess because that art style, like, became pretty commonplace for our mobile games and stuff like Torchlight, so I don't know. I see the point now more than I used to. But I guess my whole thing was I, I never played 2, so it didn't bother me. But I had some friends that were just, they were pretty livid about the art style. And they still played the game, you know, they complained. For all they complained, they played the game more than me. We're here. Actually, I should go back to town first. Good evening. Not in town. What do you need? I guess. Oh, I'll sell the skull. have to make that decision very shortly. Because shit has words if I have coin. See, that I understand. <laughs> that one I understand. I can't believe I haven't found an another topaz, like, what is this? It's the moment I'm looking for it, that's when it becomes an issue. What are you doing? Don't frontline like you're a melee. Totemic mask, what is this? Oh, it's... Druid. Yeah, I mean, if I was a, if I was a druid, I'd be really excited about this. That's a good find, but I'm not. Unfortunately, I can't really hang on to it, can I? Like, I have limited space. I could stash it away for a little bit, but I think ultimately I will have to ditch it. Maybe Topaz has become rarer than diamonds. Oh no, it's just my chaotic luck. Like, 
Anytime I'm actively looking for something, my luck just goes to shit. But then when I'm not looking for anything, absolutely mental. Just getting stuff I shouldn't get. Sometimes the glitch passive chimes in. I want to turn up my music, but hang on, I gotta wait. <laughs> Not all those enemies on the screen. Amethyst, not not the one I'm after. Ooh, there's an elite cursing somewhere. Where? No. No, get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, I'm gonna go back. Greetings. Hail to you, champion. I mean, I guess I can store it here for the time being. That's good. Look at that. Look at those stats. Armors, resistances, everything you would want. Plus two. I mean, hey, you never know. Maybe I fail at this and then I'm like, fuck it, let's try Druid. I just figured my skills would lie with the character I played the most, which was this one. Ah, uh, yep, there's, there's the problem. I don't want to be anyone near that. Not enough mana. Maybe I could make this a series like I did with Risk of Rain 2, Hardcore Every Character. Uh, I don't have the character slots for it. As I've played a lot of characters on normal, I would have to delete stuff. Um, and, I mean, the interest in this wanes. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. I hate when they do that. No, I'm... Oh, wait, I'm on, I'm on curse now. I mean, Diablo kind of splits the viewer base a bit. On the one hand, people that watch me for Diablo content are super happy. On the other, everyone else is like, eh. And that, yeah, I don't know. I've talked about it before. It's like, I found that, uh, People that watch Diablo are not likely to watch me play anything else. So, I'll, I mean, this will play its course and then I'll probably move on, but still play this in the background. Is 
this is just a little journey to see if I'm capable of getting through hardcore. Besides, there's still the whole vanilla Diablo 3 thing that I want to try, so... Um, variety of your base will never be happy with one thing. No, I know. Like, I get that at any given point. There will be games I play that people aren't interested in. Right? But, I mean, in general, I found that this was especially the case with... With, uh... With Diablo. Like, pretty much, unless I'm playing another game that's, like, Diablo or Destiny or something... One of those, like, games that have loot systems, generally speaking, people that watch those games will only watch those games. Whereas in, say, I play Risk of Rain. Sure, someone might not be interested in Risk of Rain, but then when I play, like, a Kirby game, it's fine. Or when I play a Mario game, it's fine. It does like a stronger chance that I'll play something and it'll be okay. Hey, solo candy. Well, I'm more than considering it. Like I've I've purchased a copy of Diablo 3 on PS3 for 15 bucks. The only part missing is for me to source a uh a cheap PS3. Which I'm, I'm looking into. So we're, we're halfway there towards that. I mean... It doesn't... I guess it doesn't have to be cheap. Like, if I really wanted to, I, I could just go out and get one. But I'd be... I'd, I think I'd be paying, like, at least 100 for one, which I don't want to do. If I had more plans to play other PS3 games, I'd be like, yeah, the 100 is fine. Whatever. I'll, I'll get some use out of it. But currently, as it stands, it's just, like... Just to do, like, some vanilla Diablo 3 just out of shits and giggles and interest, right? Yeah, here's, here's the other problem, dude. Region locking. I have to get an- I have to get a console that's, uh, from Australia or Europe. I'm pretty sure the PlayStation 3 was region locked, if I remember correctly. Maybe look it up. I, I don't know. I know that era, um, that was a thing. Not every console's been region locked. But a lot of them, um, that is a restriction. I need to go back. Like, uh, the PS5 isn't, the PS4 wasn't. I'm not sure before that. The Nintendo DS was region locked, so if I'm buying DS games, they can only be from, uh... Sorry, the 3DS. They can only be from Australia or Europe. And same with the, uh... The GameCube. Oh, PS3 was Region 3. Okay. The GameCube is, is definitely region locked. But, um, I'm glad to have an Australian GameCube because our models had the digital port. 
So I know American models did as well, but they only had them for a certain amount of time. And that's the port that you use to like do the HDMI mod, so... In some cases, there are advantages to owning a console from the PAL region. <laughs> I believe there's a way to force the GameCube to play games from another region, but it's flaky. Yeah, the one with the Game Boy adapter. Yeah. I mean... The way you could tell is on the back, it either had two video ports. If it had two video ports, that's the one that has analog and digital. If it only has one, it's analog only. Because no one really had digital video in that era, so they just scrapped that port. But in Europe, it took them a while to do it, so most European consoles have that port. Damn. Good find. Got lucky, another Um rune. Or Um, whatever you could call it. Another amethyst. Okay. Someone sold it. That you don't even know who sold it. That's sad, dude. The GameCube had a pretty decent library. Armor's um, is like the highest for nightmare. Nice, yeah. I mean, it's up there. That's why I was like, fucking hell, that's good. And not just that, it's the second one, and I got Lemon as well. Like, I've had some pretty good luck with the runes as, as, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Whether or not that luck carries over to hell, I mean, we'll see. Oh, uh, I mean, I guess. I don't really use these, though. Like, I haven't... Not even in... Ah, uh, whatever. We'll have to roll sockets for shields anyway, so... You see what I mean? Like, I can't find Topaz to save my own life, but runes? Fucking mental. I've been looking for Topaz for ages. Game doesn't want to give it to me. Two... Two of those runes? Yeah, no problem. You know who sold it, you're just not going to name them. Yeah, but even if you did, I wouldn't know them, I mean. Um. I mean, the GameCube is my current way of playing Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games on stream. Like, original ones. Without resorting to the E word. <laughs> right? Um, but that'll change at the end of the year. I did order one of those analog pockets, so... We'll be able to do those games in, uh, nice quality. I guess that's why I've been putting off... ...continuing Zelda. As I gotta do Oracle of Seasons and then Minish Cap, which... ...they're... ...games that would benefit highly from me having that. You would love to do that too. If you had the- if you still had that GameCube, you might be able to. It depends on whether or not your console had the, uh, digital AV out. I can't believe I haven't found the Topaz. So at this point I have to seriously consider if I... If I just, uh... Ditch what I'm wearing and just create smoke. The rune word. Or just abandon this for a little while and go farm. I don't know. I mean, I'm doing... I'm doing fine. If, as long as I hang back, it's generally okay. It's just... 
I worry a little. Again? Berserkers, right? Again! It's the second time. What? How did that? What? <laughs> How did that not hit? Yeah, I, I honestly can't think of any other PS3 games that I would want to be playing, even in a capacity of retro, because I just... That was an era that I sort of skipped. Like, I, I had a Wii at the time. And that's where all my money went in terms of gaming, and then I had my PC. I know there was stuff worth it, it's just... A lot of that stuff's been remade. Or remastered. Okay. Switch to lightning. I mean, poison still does something. The resistances aren't that high. I think this weekend I might look at doing a retro game. It's just constantly been coming up, like... I keep thinking, man, I have the capability of playing retro games in a good way. And I just haven't really done it. <laughs> I should probably make use of it. Not here. Not in town. If I'm going to play other games from that era, a good play would be Call of Duty. All that war, Black Ops 2, all amazing stories. Yeah, I mean, they weren't exclusive to that though, and shoot it, shooter games on console. The whole time I'm just gonna be thinking, man, I should have played this on PC instead. A 16 resist amulet. Um. Well, my- I'm gonna hang on to it, it's good. Ooh, that's a good one, 13 life. You played well at War on the Wii, no kidding. But see, that was interesting, because... It was its own thing, I guess, that playstyle. But yeah, I'll, I'll try it. If not this weekend, next weekend. 
because I've got the extra long weekend next weekend. Um, there's a day off because of the Queen dying. So in Australia, they declared a day of mourning on the Thursday. And then on the Friday in my state, we have the public holiday for the football game. So... <laughs> I get two days off for stuff that I'm gonna be quite honest, I don't really have any interest in. Um, but I'll, I'll do something. Movie night? I mean, I'm keen for a movie night. But maybe I'll I'll do like a retro game. And try to make it a regular thing. Oh, fuck. You want to watch that football game? Uh, unfortunately, there's no way... I don't think. I'm pretty sure... Wait. I don't even... See, this is the thing. I don't really know, but I'm... I, if I was to assume... It would be, uh... That subscription service that I don't want to support. Basically. That would have them. That would be my guess. But, like... Even if I did show you it... I would not be able to explain it to you. Like, you would have questions and I, I would not know shit. You would probably know more than me. You've at least looked it up. <laughs> Not suggesting I stream it. Oh, no, of course. I just meant, like, show you it. Which is different. Like, be like, yo, you can watch it here. Like, I, I have no doubt you'll have questions. And I just won't be able to provide any answer. The retro games are nice, we prefer the ones you played when you were a kid. Like... I mean, I know you talked about a couple of them, Nick, though. Hi, by the way. I think next weekend as well, the Fall Guys uh, season starts as well, the new one. So there's gonna be new maps in that, so... Or maybe it's this weekend, I don't know. But either way, it should be up and running. They mentioned that in the direct. DuckTales? Oh, I have I have DuckTales on the NES. I have that. I could play that. I have it on the NES, and I also have the remakes they did. I have DuckTales. It's something I played once, and I found it interesting, and then I saw- I found a copy at a flea market, and I bought it. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna press the button and run. Like, I've had that- Your brain went blank, now you could have sworn no more, but there's none you can think of. Another one I have that's a Sega one is the Mickey Mouse uh, Castle of Illusion. Good. That was something a friend of mine had and I have nostalgia for. Yoshi's Island, I had- That was a game that we got with our Super Nintendo for Christmas. I have my original copy of that, like, the one I had as a kid. That's still with me. Okay, one more level and then that's done. And that'll be at a high enough base value that no matter what, I'll be able to equip Monarch. Yoshi's Island makes you mad. Why? It's a great game. Or is it because of the screaming baby constantly? Like, I get that.
I mean, I could do one of those. If enough people enjoy the retro segments, I could make it a, re a regular thing. I've really only used this thing for ROM hacks, which is kind of funny, but like... This, I can plug in any con- like, okay. I can do NES, Super Nintendo, Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, uh... I can do PS1, but I don't have many PS1 games. Well, it'd require a bit of effort, but I can do it. Um, Wii. Because I got a Wii U that can play Wii games, so... That works. Um, technically Game Boy and Game Boy Advance through the GameCube player. GameCube. Like, it's in my capability to do almost anything retro, console-wise. Without resorting to emulation. I mean, the E-word. Did I ever play Epic Mickey? I did not. The sad thing about that is the day I went to buy that after work, it was sold out. And I ne I, I just never got it. It kind of went out of print by the time I was, like, looking for it again. And I think copies of it are expensive now. I thought I'd be struggling a bit more here, but it's not too bad. The Plague Javelins are doing pretty well. Something cursed me, I don't know from where. Oh no, someone cursed her. Okay, cool. Okay, so here I need to be ready to run back. Because these things are assholes. Unfortunately, they're poison immune. They're cursed as well, I don't want to be near that. That's the scariest one. Keep moving, don't let her die. Fuck, she died. Alright, go back. I may as well replenish while I'm here. Greetings. Hello. Alright, let's pick my curiosity. How much is it? Epic Mickey we Oh, it's not that wait, hang on. That's American. Oh shit, that's pretty cheap actually. Why did I think it cost more? That's really cheap. I think it's the collector's edition that was a little pricey. Okay. That might be what I saw. Because that one is a bit pricey. But the game itself is cheap. Why? Was it something that just wasn't appreciated by a lot of people? Dude, it's like $8. Like... <laughs> on e and that's eBay prices. Which generally uh, can be a bit uh, predatory. Hail to you, champion. 
I mean, maybe. Like, again, I don't want to get ahead of myself. I would do this stuff on the condition that people actually enjoy it and turn up. If the- if- if Curse wasn't here, I'd be running in, but... They're cursed. Fuck that. Okay, main one's down. Alright, now it's just the stragglers. I'll go back and get rid of the curse. Then I can face him. What do you need? Not in town. Greetings. Okay. Uh, I mean, that's, it's not bad, I guess. Have, uh, but then again, I, nah, cause... I'm not really having mana problems anymore since my followers here. Okay, that's done. One more seal to go, and then... <laughs> um, a little bit of a clench. I'll tell you what, if I was to play one of the Super Nintendo games I have this weekend, what would you pick? Or NES. Everything is cursing me here, it's so annoying. Epic Mickey was a huge success, but 2 wasn't. That's weird, because 2 is more expensive on eBay. Which, I guess, makes sense. Less copies sold, which means rarer, but I don't know. Plus, it's a Wii U game, so that makes... I guess, that kind of makes sense in its own right. It's like, the Wii U wasn't successful, period. But I do have one. I do have a Wii U, so... I used it to play Wario and it was great. Still no Topaz. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to release the seal and then teleport back, basically. And walk up, because I don't want to be cornered. I don't want to run out of space to run. Okay, do this, hit the seal, go through, and we'll walk back up. Yes. I'm taking every little precaution I can. Hail to you, champion. Yeah, but I think- so I think those numbers in terms of how much it's sold I don't think it's got anything to do with the game. I think that more or less lines up to just the Wii U in general. Like, the Wii was a massive success in terms of a uh, number of people that had that console. The Wii U wasn't. So that's why it sold like about a quarter less. It makes sense.
It's kind of funny how, like, a million copies is still considered a failure. <laughs> Thanks, capitalism. A million people bought this. Absolute failure. Should have been ten. One point three mil was the one. Three hundred thousand got two. Still three hundred thousand. I mean, come on. It's still an achievement, but I guess we're talking about Disney here, right? It's not a lot for how many copies they produced. Yeah, I mean, I, I would imagine, again, it's the result of the Wii U and not the game. Why are you frontlining like you're a melee? Stop it. Okay. I'm too afraid to run in there in melee because of the lightning. So I'll do whatever's necessary to just keep... Yeah, that. That shit scares me. It just does it too often. It's so annoying. And I have high lightning resist. Look at how much it takes away. And he keeps doing it. Don't let myself get low. This is why I wanted the tanky frontliner. Ah, no. Fuck's sake. She died. Alright, got it. Okay, we good. All good in the hood. Live to fight another act. I'll pick up what I can so I can sell. I am overburdened. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. All right, that'll do. I not in town. Yeah, I honestly thought that was going to be more problematic than what it was. What do you need? It's just tank reds don't care about tank reds. Hail to you, champion. Mm. 
Okay. Not here. Act complete. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, in the interest of, like, keeping content nice and neat for YouTube, as this will end up there, eventually, I will do a split of the video here. We did an act, so that's a good stopping point for that. And I'll continue it. I'm also gonna stretch my legs and get some water, so... Give me, like, five minutes, and, uh, we will continue. Through the last act of Nightmare Mode. It's going well. Um, I think definitely before the end I will... I'm still debating on this, like, whether I should swap to smoke here, because I can, or just wait out the one flawless topaz. Or topaz. Flawed topaz. No, wait. Anyway, I'll, I'll think about it. Um, but there's multiple potential stuff I could do here. Um, this chapter has its scary parts. So, we'll see. Alright, I'll be back in five, but if you're here on YouTube, thanks for watching.